Hello there, great people. I hope you are doing well. Today, a video, as you can see in the title, useful apps for your Mac OS. Now, this is a series that I want to bring back to the channel. Uh, it was something that I made uh, on, the, on the early phase of my YouTube um, experience. So, uh, and there is something that I sometimes look on the web for cool applications. So without further ado, let's go to the first one that I love. And this one is called PopClip. I use it every, every day. So what does this application does is, let's go ahead, for example, here to an article on Mark Rumors. And I want, for example, to know uh, what Apple means. And if I click here, not with the right with the right uh, with the right click with the, all that options copy and paste and everything no you only select it and you have lots of options here so i want to know on youtube apple and immediately i went to youtube okay without doing anything more more things that this app can do for example uh, i want to know what uh, let me see here the investment uh, let's go for example i have here google translator and of course translate what on what i have at the moment english to portuguese or whatever but we are not talking about google translator so this application can you can do lots and lots of things if you have an address for example uh, you can go and uh, for example here the address of Apple. Let's see if we can do it. Apple. Oh, there is the, I have here the option of Google Maps. Let's click Google Maps. Let's see if Apple appears. It, it appears, for example, Apple on, on, on my, there is some Apple retailers uh, and they are, it's selling me on the, on the map. So uh, you are already getting the point of this, uh, of this application. So here on the preferences, if I go here, on uh, here, here, yeah, okay. There are lots and lots of actions I have selected, uh, and and they appear uh, when the text. They don't appear all the, all the, at the same time. You have here one, two, three, four, five, about fifteen, but you can add more. And when you add more, you go to the pop clip extensions. Uh, and there are lots and lots of things that you can add to that application. Okay, a note, um, OmniFocus, there are be fantastical, Bizical, but okay, I, I will not want to make this video too long, so you can go ahead and check for yourself. This is a paid application, but you have a free trial. Go ahead, test it, and if it makes sense, you can go ahead and buy it, or you can search for something some other application that does the same honestly i didn't find it found it so i use this i paid for the app and i'm enjoying it i don't know about two years ago that i have this application so it's called pop clip i will leave the link in the description you have a free trial go ahead and download it now another one that i use on a regular basis let's quit this you know that uh, action that we do every day the copy and paste as you know let's go ahead again to some other article let's go to cult of mac mm, let's imagine if you are and let's open here word sorry i should be i should have this open already in order for the video not to be too long let's open a blank document create and you are, you know, um, with the article open, let's put, for example, iPhone X. I want to copy this. OK, I want to copy iPhone X cases. OK, copy. This is only as you can see on my pop clip without hitting the right mouse button. I want also to copy, for example, uh, the service mean that users uh, box okay I want to copy and I want to copy all this why not okay that's enough 
No, uh, I copy all that I want. Let's imagine you have several web pages open and you can copy. Uh, as you know, Apple only lets you copy once as, at a time. So you copy, paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. And I don't like that. So that's why I have here an um, application that is, is called Clip Menu. And I have copied everything. So let's, the first one, let's click here. I want to copy here. The first one was what? iPhone X. Okay, there it is. What was the third, the second one? Okay, the iPhone X cases, there it, there it is. The third, smart lock, the context, the paragraph, sorry. And the fourth was another one. So as you can see, all the, the copy uh, words or phrases that I have done, they are all in a clipboard, but okay. So you can access them at any time and uh, you know, there is an history and everything. So this one is called clip menu. Mac OS, let's see here, a clipboard manager. And this one guys, it's free. So a freebie on this, uh, on this uh, video clip menu i'll leave also the link in the description now to finalize i'll go to the as you can see i don't have anything here on my desktop so if i want to unmount or mount a disk okay an sd card uh, i can go to the finder okay or i have here the the disks okay by default when you install mac os you know, there are disk, disks uh, here, the mounted disks, including your own uh, hard drive or SSD. Uh, I have taken that off, of course, they are here. This is also a tip if you don't want a, a messy desktop, you can uncheck that and you have a clean desktop. So just a tip. The application that I want to show you is called Semulov. So let me check here. Yeah, the name is Semulov. I will leave the link in the description. It's an application that is running on your menu bar and all of your drives are here, including the number of the drives that are mounted and also uh, the number It's only regarding the drives that are mounted. Okay, I have uh, two drives and then you have the un unmounted uh, ones. So for me, this is very useful because I don't have to right click, eject or bring the application to the trash and eject. I can go here and eject. And this one, guys, if you go to Semilove, let's see if there is here Semilove preferences. Yeah, there are lots of preferences. I want to check if there was a link to the, well, nothing like good old Google. Uh, Semulov, Semulov, Mac. I don't know if this is paid free download. Yeah, it's free. So you can go ahead and download eject volumes from the menu bar. So it's, you can go to Mac update without any problems and download this. It's called, there are other ones. Okay, you can check this. This is the one I use for a long, long time. And for me, it's very, very useful. So guys, this is it. I don't know how much minutes this video has. Uh, I want to revisit this kind of, uh, you know, uh, screencasts and cool Mac apps. So go ahead. I, w I have plenty more applications to show you. Put your thumbs up if you want more of this content. Subscribe to the channel. Give that support. And uh, the next video that I will make it is regarding the iPhone. Okay. A useful, very useful tip for you to know and uh, you know it's uh, for me <laughs> it was a, a, a lifesaver thank you very much for your time and i hope to see you on the next one have a good day bye bye